Hey, my YouTubians. Okay, so Callie has now officially moved out, so the whole house is mine again. So uh, this is for members only. Only you members get to see this. Uh, she's gone. Uh, she's just got to come back and pick up a couple little things, but mostly she's done. Uh, she's coming back on Monday, of course, to clean up everything and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, she's pretty much finished here. Uh, she said she's got everything that she wants from, from this. Uh, some of the stuff that was here was was mine before we made it into an apartment. So <laughs> and there's my old covers that my dad and I made, which is, I'm going to remove those again. All right. So this is, this is the old master bedroom. Uh, this was my bedroom before I got sick and then I had to get uh, Kelly to move in to help me out. So I was doing some work on it, but then I got sick. Uh, so this room is now empty. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. Um, but yeah, and those are the other cupboards, the rest of the cupboards that were in the other side. Um, so I'm going to use those again too. Okay. Then we'll go over here. <laughs> All three of these bedrooms I've used before uh, over the years. This was another bedroom I used to have because I don't like big areas, right? And uh, <clears throat> there's my BCD and my scuba diving quit. Here's my uh, scuba suit, uh, face mask and, and all that, uh, scuba boots, <laughs> my flippers. Basically, my storage for my, my scuba gear, that's what this was always for. Um, my toolbox, you know. Uh, so this room, obviously, too, is now open. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this half now. I might, if I can find someone else to, um, to come and live here uh, to give me a hand. This is my laundry room. This is where Kelly did all my laundry for me while she was living here. Uh, but anyway, if I can find uh, find another live-in helper, then uh, I might put these two rooms and that uh, half bathroom. Uh, I'll put a door here and let them have that part of the house, you know, for free, basically. Um, my live-in helper is to just pay like half of whatever the utility bills are, and that's it. And then they buy their own groceries, so. Uh, it's like three, either three or four hundred dollars uh, for a month uh, to live here uh, for anyone that, because they, I get them to help me with the yard work and, uh, you know, things like I have a hard time doing now. So they help me out. So I just let, you know, I just say, okay, you pay basically half the utilities because you're using half and I'm using half. So uh, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm okay. And the utilities are usually three to four hundred, so whatever the bill comes in, uh, we split it. So, but no rent or anything because they're helping me, right? So, but anyway, uh, there you have it. Got the whole house, okay? Uh, and I'll show you. Uh, that's the mural that my dad painted of uh, the far side of of the old homestead where the river was. Uh, you can see that on uh, Danny's corner, um, all that kind of stuff. And this one. <clears throat> is looking right from the kitchen window this mural uh, right here's the dock right down at the bottom at the beach here and right there this cedar tree this cedar tree here uh, this is where I saw Astro the very first time uh, when I was about five he was sitting up here right in this area looking down at me in the water when I was drowning and he was giggling and he sent two spirit wolves to pull me out of the water and saved my life. And he was laughing at me. And I, I call him a butthead. And ever since then, we've been best buddies. So uh, I call him a butthead for laughing at me. <laughs> but anyway, there's the... Um, so there, there, that's an exclusive, okay? Don't tell anybody that story because that's only for, for you guys to know uh, about Astro and me and our, and our very first meeting. Uh, he was up in this tree. He was, uh, you see where this brown spot is? Okay, that basically represents him. At that time, um, <clears throat> he appeared like a gargoyle, you know, like on those old French uh, things. 
So he, I, he had this real scary look about him, and, and he was looking down laughing, and I called him a butthead. And because he didn't scare me, and I and I laughed back, I think that's why he liked me in the first place. I, I think that's where our brotherhood uh, actually started. Right here, this is where it goes into the second lake. Remember I told you you had to come by, uh, to get here, you had to come through 33 miles in the bush. Behind this row of trees, okay, is yet a third lake where the landing is, where you could see uh, uh, where Jesse and I were on the landing. You had to go come across that lake, go all around here, across this lake, come through this part of the bay, and then drown, drive uh, your boat down here to get to our cabin, so our home, whatever. Um, anyway, that's the uh, that, that's some information that uh, no one else is ever going to know about me and, and uh, Astro and uh, the, the life back then. So that's just for you guys, a uh, little bit of a personal history lesson. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll talk to you real soon.